what's a burrito this is what we will bake in this video Recently, Iman Ghazai added this cool animation in his video, so I am going to recreate this. Let's start. First, create a new composition and hit OK. Create a new solid layer and rename it to background and hit OK. Now, select the pen tool and draw a curve line. and adjust it and set the stroke to 17 and set fill color to none now select the layer and rename it to white line now select the layer and search for caps under the stroke change its cap to rounded now select the ellipse tool and draw a circle make sure stroke to none Set it color to yellow and stroke to none. Align the anchor point of the circle to center. And duplicate the layer and adjust it here, like this. Now select the pen tool again and draw a curved line. Set the fill color to none and stroke to red color. Now select the red line, go to search bar and search for tapers. And set the start and end length to 34. And stroke width to 9. Select the layer and rename it to red line. Select this layer and rename it to circle 2. And this circle to C1. Now select the red line, Ctrl D, right click, go to transform and flip it to vertical. And now select this duplicated red line and drag it down. And adjust it. like this now select this layer and change its color to yellow like the circle color now i am going to type the text write point a select the layer and duplicate it drag it to here and rename it to point b Now select the point A layer and set its scale to 38. And drag it here. Now select the point B layer and change its scale to 38. Now duplicate the point B layer for 4 times. Now select the layers one by one and add your text. After this, our basic design is complete. All of the layers property. Now select the white line and click on this arrow. Go to add button, add trim path. Open the trim path properties and make a keyframe on end. Drag this keyframe few frames forward. I am going 15 frames forward and drag it to 15 frames. Make another keyframe at start and set its value to 0. Press U to only visible the keyframe, select the C1 layer and press S. Make keyframe at scale. Drag this keyframe few frames forward and make another keyframe and set its value to 0. Now select the C2 layer and do same process with it. 
Now I am going to animate the text layers. I have this pre-made preset. So if you want this preset, follow me on Instagram and I will send this to your DM. Just drag this on the text layer. After applying this preset, you have your pre-made typewriter effect. Just adjust the keyframe and you are good to go. Now I am going to apply same effect on point B layer to animate it. Adjust the keyframes little bit for perfect animation. With the same process I am going to animate the other layers. As you can see our text animation is completed done except the top success rate text layer I'm going to animate it later now I'm going to animate this red line open its properties go to add button and add trim path open trim path and make a an keyframe at end go frame frame forward and make another keyframe come at first keyframe and make its value to zero select the keyframes and drag them little bit backward now select this text layer and animate it apply this type editor effect and make the keyframe with the red line keyframes now select the yellow line click this arrow go to add button add trim path open trim path Make keyframe at end, go 15 frames forward and make another keyframe. And set the value of first keyframe to 0. Select the keyframes and drag them little bit backward. Select this text layer, apply time writer effect on it. and adjust the keyframe with yellow line ok now I am going to create the number counter effect select the text tool and type 0 apply the slider control effect on it click on this arrow open effect and text open slider control and make a keyframe on it go 15 frames forward and set it value to 90 now press alt and click on the stopwatch icon now link the source text with slider and type this expression this expression is available in the description Select the layer and close its properties. Select layer again and press U. Now select the success rate layer and press U again. And adjust the keyframe with it so it nicely blend with the success rate. And scale it down to 38. Now select the both layers. Go to align page and align them center. Come at the first keyframe, select the layer and press Alt plus right bracket key to cut the layer. After some adjustments, our animations look like this. Now it's time to smooth the animations. The white line layer and press U, select the keyframes, press F9 and go to graph editor and make this graph. Close the graph editor, come at the first keyframes, press Ctrl plus right bracket key two times and drag the second keyframe to there. Now the distance between our keyframe is 20 frames. Now select the C1 layer, press U, select the keyframes and press F9. Go to graph editor and make this graph. Now do the same process with other shape layers.
After this, our animation is something look like this. Now I am going to scale up point A and point B text size. Select the yellow layer and apply deep glow effect on it. If you don't have deep glow effect, you can go with simple glow effect. Go to sex control panel and change its values. Now create an adjustment layer and rename it to Posterize Dunny. And apply Posterize Time effect on it. And set it value to 14. After this our animation is completed. If this video is helpful for you, hit the subscribe button and like the video. See you guys in the next videos.